Hello friends, welcome to the Teamers channel, the Java interview series part 4. So previously in the first part of the Java interview series, we discussed about the different methods in the object class in Java. In the second series, we discussed the differences between the hash map and hash table. And in the third video of this Java interview series, we discussed about differences in array and an error list. So now today in this video, we are going to talk about how to create a singleton class. So basically in the interview, you'll be asked about a singleton class and how to create it. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, we we'll create a new class that is the main class for this project. We'll also include the public static void main, the main method. And now let's go ahead and create the singleton class for this project. Let's name it as app class finish. And now what we are going to do is we're going to create a constructor that is private. Basically that is just to ensure that no other class can create an object for this class. So what you do is private app creating a constructor, a private constructor, just to hinder other classes to create an object of this class. So the only way to create, create an object of this class would be through a method known as get instance. So we'll create it now, but before that we would create a static reference for this app class object. So now what you're going to do is create a public method, public static, it would return an app class object and the name is get instance. So now what we're going to do is we're going to check if the object app is null then we're going to create a new object for the app. Otherwise, it will return app. So now basically this is it for how to create a singleton class. So this singleton class maintains a static reference to the one singleton instance, which is this one. Now the value for this reference is returned from the static method which is get instance in this case and here the singleton class employs a technique which is known as lazy instantiation to create the singleton. So with this we ensure that the object of this class isn't created until and unless we call this get instance method. So when the first time this method is called only then the object of this class is created. So there's one more uh, benefit of doing it this way because until and unless you call this method get instance, the object will not be created for this class. So it will only be created when you actually need it. So now let's go ahead and try to use it here. App, app is equals to dot get instance. So now again if I try to do this thing to app dot get instance. So now we might be wondering that we have actually created two objects for this app class but no we just have one single object for this app class. So that's it for this video guys. So basically this is how you create a single in class because look here this method get instance so which will return the app class object if it is null then it would create a new one if it is not null it will return the same one and you cannot call the constructor because it is private so there will always be a single instance for this class which is app so that's it for this video guys 
please uh, share your feedbacks in the comment section below if you have any other questions to ask please do share them also thank you for watching this video bye guys see you in the next video soon take care